and now i am going to dictate a legal passage based on latest judgment of purbo bardhaman district court at the rate of 120 words per minute let's start it is thus argued that the impute notifications are perfectly within the ambit of law para the intra bardhaman town pass operators also argue that the writ petitions by the long distance operators have been preferred on the basis of surmise and conjecture it is argued that a policy decision taken by the authorities can only be challenged on certain specific grounds as is stipulated in paragraph 65 of the judgment reported at within bracket 2008 to scc 672 square bracket delhi development authority and another versus joint action committee alot of sfs flats and others stop para it is submitted that the relevant notifications of 2012 of 2014 refer to a report by experts from the iit kharagpur who indicated the mode of regulating traffic for reducing the extreme congestion in the town of bardwan accordingly the said notifications were sought to be implemented to which there cannot be any objection from any quarter it is further argued that the section quoted in the notifications amply conferred power on the authorities to take such action para since the district magistrate is the concerned authority under rule 182 of the mb rules it is argued that the notification of 2014 and the notices for implementation of the same ought not to be reopened under article 226 of the constitution of india there has been a series of meetings between the stakeholders upon which the decisions have been taken as such the same cannot be deviated from in public interest para in as much as the cited judgments are concerned the ratio laid down by the division bench in the unreported judgment dated march 15 2022 delivered in mat 1345 of 2021 within bracket with ia number 1 of 2021 square bracket sunil kumar mondol versus bardwan district bus association and others does not have any direct bearing on the present issue since the division bench adjourned the appeal sinedai keeping the point of maintainability open with a liberty to the parties to mention the matter before the single bench para the judgment of the supreme court reported at within back 2035 scc 427 square bracket rajasthan state industrial development and investment corporation versus subhash sindhi cooperative housing society joypur and others does not have any direct relevance in the context of the present matters in the said judgment any notice circular guidelines etc which run contrary to statutory laws were held not to be enforceable within the zone of consideration of article 226 and 32 of the constitution of india however in the present case there is no such statutory violation to attract the jurisdiction of this court under article 226 of the constitution of india para the coordinate bench in new punjab calcutta transport company within bracket private limited versus commissioner of police calcutta reported at 66 cwn 1029 small i stipulates that section 74 of the mb act does not touch on the fundamental rights of the petitioners to carry on business and the satisfaction enjoyed there in is not arbitrary in nature such restrictions it was held cannot be imposed merely at the whim of authorities but may only be done either in the interest of public safety or convenience or regard being had to the nature of any road or bridge in the present case of public interest and safety were taken into consideration while passing the notification in question as such the principle laid down in the said judgment validates the stand of the respondent authority supera in tb ibrahim versus the regional transport authority tanjore reported at air 1953 ac 79 the supreme court observed that there is no fundamental right in a citizen to carry on business or wear he chooses and his right must be subject to any reasonable restriction imposed by the executive authority in the interest of public convenience stop thank you